This is Tron with Tron Tells the Truth. When the Democratic Convention started, I hoped to see something unique, something fantastic, something that was quite different. The big enthusiasm around Bernie Sanders have really put a joy and a smile on the face of a lot of people around the world, especially here in Scandinavia, because we already know his ideas in the first place. So, after a long, long run for it, he lost, and now he should be presented to what Hillary Clinton wanted. A democratic convention, I thought, should be a little different than a Republican convention. But it was, well, I don't quite have to say this, but America is a great country. It's an okay country. It's a good country, but it's not the only country in the world. The Repo- Democratic Convention was all about, look here, we are more American than anyone else. We love America more, and we are better than everyone else. Yeah, it was. Joe Biden, I respect very much, he said, yeah, we are the greatest nation in the world. Not let anybody say something different. A general was on stage and said, yeah, we're going to crush all our enemies. And I wondered for some time, which convention was I on? Was this the Republican one? Was it the Democratic one? Or is there anyone in the United States opposed to this bullshit? Because we laughed. We just took a big laugh. Because the only reason why we like Democrats a little bit more it's because the Republicans are batshit crazy. Nothing else, enough, nothing else at all. There was one beautiful thing there, and that was Bernie Sanders. You can see on his face that he was sad. He was disappointed. He didn't support Hillary Clinton with a light heart. He did it because he had to. And that's also why I do it. Not because I love her, because the alternative is worse. Much worse. But you have to see, Bill Maher once said that America is one of the most stupid countries there is. It isn't, but it's the most narcissistic country in the world. You have to learn yourself a little lesson. You're not the only country in the world. Just sing your big all the time, swinging the flag, dropping balloons, say you're going to crush your enemies, doesn't make you respected. Maybe get you elected in the United States, but it don't get you respected. This is not very fun to look at. It's not very fun to listen to. There were no big controversy at the Democratic Convention. It was not all about celebrate the Queen, the Queen Hillary Clinton. But but, I've got some beautiful thoughts about a Muslim father who lost his son fighting for America in two bullshit wars he never should have been in in the first place. Some the Bernie's what I was very clear after this watching the collision is the Bernie Sanders revolution must not stop. It must not stop at all. It must roll over America. You need not more person to take on that torch and fight for it. In this year's election, in election in two years' time, in election in four years' time, and so on and so on and so on. Because this can't continue can continue in any way. I hope you can see that. And I hope that you in the, in October go on and vote. But you also use the right to vote in any election there is. I also hope you all of you who fought for Bernie Sanders ideas still fight for it. Because you have allies. Because this is not just an American revolution. It's a revolution you have to be all over the world. Because It's too fucking enough right now. It's too much of everything. And we have to pull our shit together and work over the borders. United States, Scandinavia, Europe, Africa, Asia, everyone. We have to find common grounds and stop this nationalistic warmonger bullshit polluters and everyone else. This was Tron with Tron Tells the Truth, and I'll be back next time even more angry than I am this time. Have a nice day.